All right, guys, it's Carter here uh, with Dallas Cowboys 95. So um, the game's over in two minutes left. We're down 27-7. Uh, just a bad day. I really wasn't expecting this. I picked Atlanta to win, but I thought it'd be a better game than this. But I really underestimated how important Tyron Smith is to our team, man. He, holy shit, Adrian Claiborne had six sacks today. Chaz Green needs to be cut immediately. Immediately. He's terrible. He can't block in the NFL. Um, so, yeah, Chaz Green basically cost us any chance of winning this game. We need Tyron Smith. Hopefully he's back next week against the Eagles. Otherwise, we're in another for another nightmare next Sunday night. Um, so, yeah, Sean Lee got hurt again. He's out. That They ran on us a lot with Coleman. Freeman got hurt, but it doesn't really matter. Sean Lee's out. We're dead. So We need Sean Lee next week if we want to stop a Jai and Blunt. Um, yeah, Zeke uh, Elliott. Obviously, we miss him. You know, that's not the reason we didn't win. Morris had 55 yards. Dak had 46. We didn't really do enough in the running game. But still, like, if, I still think we would have lost if Zeke played without Tyron Smith. Like, dude, he couldn't block. Now, I know Zeke can block, but he couldn't block Claiborne every single time like that. So, I mean, dude, we got to get – we're not getting Zeke back, so there's no sense of talking about him. We're not getting him back for – there's a flag. He just scored Coleman, but yeah, there's a flag. He could be coming back, but yeah, they're looking to go up 34-7 here in the last under two minutes left. But like I said, Zeke, you know, he can block better than any back in the league, but still, like, if we, he probably wouldn't have won this game for it. Tyron Smith is our most important player, and it showed today. Uh, so hopefully we get him back next week. But there's, I mean, you can't really panic, dude. It's not like we lost with all our guys. Dan, Mike Nugent also missed a big field goal, which was with a big momentum turner. Mike Nugent, he probably fucking sucks, so we need Dan Bailey back. Yeah, I was holding on offense, so it's not a touchdown, but uh, it doesn't really matter. But, uh, yeah, anyways, um, um, man, just just a bad day. Dak took a beating today. Dak took the biggest beating of his career. Um, you thought Denver was bad. This one was uglier. Um, man, this was bad. And I, it started off really well, man. You know, Woods got a pick, and then Dak took it in. And I'm like, damn, all right, we're looking pretty solid. Our run defense, Freeman got hurt. I was like, all right. But then, man, Chaz Green finally said, I, I suck, and you do suck, dude. Like, how can you be so bad as an NFL tackle? I just, he doesn't deserve a job. Somebody's got to cut him. Um, excuse me. But, yeah, it's just. It's kind of embarrassing, but the haters don't understand about Tyron Smith. They don't get it. Skandrick's holding his hand again. Skandrick's banged up. Heath went out of the game with a concussion. Zach Martin had an ankle. I mean, it's an ugly game. It's an ugly game, and uh, we're just going to have to get out of here with, uh, you know, no more injuries. Looks like we're going to, but this was a wake-up call. Honestly, you know, it's, I don't know if it's a wake-up call. We didn't have all our guys, but it's, it's a wake-up call to say, like, we need to come out healthy hopefully next week and ready to play so uh yeah guys i don't know what else to say really that's basically it we didn't have tyron smith i think if we have tyron smith in this game things are a little we could be competitive in this game but we were not we were in this game for about maybe a half a half but the whole second half there is no no life at all byron bell came in and he did bad too so i mean he Dak had two fumbles today but no picks at least but um yeah guys that's basically it uh I got nothing much else. I mean, just get Tyron Smith healthy. Hopefully, Sean Lee's healthy. Get Dan Bailey back. And there's no sense in talking about Ezekiel Elliott because he's not coming back for maybe three, three more, five more games or maybe three, three to five. So, uh, Morris, he did decent. They're showing them right now. Morris did decent, 53 yards. He had nice runs there, but Rod Smith did okay. McFadden had one carry for negative two yards, so they didn't even use McFadden yet. So... Yeah, I mean, hopefully Skandrick's healthy, and, man, I don't know. I, I'm just doing this because I don't know what to say about this, man. I really don't. I don't. I mean, I, I can't say. I think if we would have had Tyron Smith and Sean Lee whole game and maybe Dan Bailey, we probably would have won this game. And, of course, if we would have had Ezekiel Elliott, we probably would have won this game by a lot. So, but, yeah, I'm not going to sit back and make all the excuses, but that Tyron Smith excuse is a valid excuse because he's the best left tackle in football. And when you don't have Skandrick's yelling at Garrett right now. Ooh, Skandrick was just chewing Jason Garrett out, it looked like. And he wasn't saying anything back to Skandrick. But, yeah, when you have the best left tackle out and you can't protect a quarterback's blind side, you just, you're not going to win. He got drilled at least 12 times today. And he sacked, fumbled twice, sacked six times. So, yeah, man, it's just ugly. We got the ball back here. Here's a draw to Rod Smith. 
and he gets about eight. So, yeah, it's under a minute left. It's ugly. We're going to five and four. We got Philly next week. Hopefully get guys healthy, but um, don't give up yet. It's not over. Relax. We're going to get Tyron Smith back. Um, and, yeah, if we lose next week, we're five and five. So we must win against the Chargers on Thanksgiving. But next week is a must win, too. So you never know what could happen. If we have Blitz, me, ugh, I can't talk. I'm out of words. Smith and Lee. So we'll see what happens, guys. Remain faithful. Don't give up on your team yet. Really, you shouldn't. I mean, Smith gets a first down. Um, but, yeah, man, I'm going to sign off. Uh, I'll, I'll come at you with a video tomorrow probably. But, uh, as always, this is Carter here with Dallas Cowboys United 5. And uh, go Cowboys. Remain faithful.